Ahem. 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 I cough, cough. <clears throat> check, check. Welcome back. To the Brutal View. Open it up with something a little different today. The Brutal View. We're back in this bitch. It is Brute. I don't know why I'm doing this. I have no reason for it. The boot of you. I wanted to start with the piano intro this time instead of a regular intro. Seeing if I should implement this more. I don't know if I will yet. Not even sure if I'm going to keep all this yet. 603-922-4074. If you want to call or text in, brutalview at gmail.com. It is going to be just I today. Splitch will not be here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm freestyling on a piano. The idea is, that's the intro. Don't know if I'll do more intros like this, but I'm pretty sure I want to. Happy Wednesday. We're back. Check. We are back. I am back. Bruh. Of you. Splitch can make it. He's at a quinceanera. Or at least he's setting one up at the moment. I'm not sure exactly what's happening. Episode 86. Again, let me know if you like the intro, if you fucks with it or not. I'm probably going to make it a little shorter than it actually was. That was a solid four or five minutes of me jamming on the piano. But um, I figured why not start trying some random new shit this past week. I don't even know when the last... Okay, so we were off last episode. I got to get my bearings right because I can't remember shit. Okay, so... We uh, still haven't been able to discuss the uh, Will Smith situation as a crew, but I will provide some updates. So what I've seen recently is that um, he was banned from the Oscars for 10 years, which I actually don't think is that bad, uh, or any like Academy show shit, because I mean, I don't know, they're awards at the end of the day, but what really do they do? Like, are you, if you don't know someone and you watch a movie and that it says like Academy Award winner or Emmy Award winner or something, but you don't know who the actor or actress is, then you're not going to watch the movie regardless because you don't know them. Or at least you're less inclined to. I don't think that Emmy Award winning shit or Grammy or like nominated, like none of that has ever made any difference to me. But again, I'm sure that has more to do with, uh, the roles and net worth once you're a celebrity who the fuck am i so i would say uh the shit that's probably fucking him up is the movie productions being halted 
I heard uh, some Netflix shit, some Amazon Prime shit. It's being either pulled or halted. I, I know, like, he was shooting something. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess it's slowed down now. I'm just hearing this from other podcasts and other shit, too. So, like, this is probably completely fucking fake. This probably isn't even true. I'm talking out of my ass. I'm not a good source of truth. Just throwing that out there. I don't know why anyone who listened to this would take anything we say seriously, but... Again, we're here to talk shit. I don't I don't care, to be honest, about the Will Smith situation. Uh, yeah, I think he's kind of stupid for slapping Chris Rock. But again, everyone's been kind of shitting on him for 10 years. I, I briefly talked about this last week, and I want to talk about it more with other people. Um, I'll say, like, I heard... <laughs> Jada Pinkett Smith said that, like, she released it. She never even should have married him to begin with. Like, she uh, it was just tired Bruh. of it. It was a mistake. Bruh. Bruh. I don't know. Uh, she's got to be the worst fucking wife of all time, man. She, she's got to be one of the shittiest human beings of all time. To publicly put your fucking relationship on blast like that with someone who's like, like, I fuck with Will Smith, you know? Like... I don't know. I think there's only one person worse, and uh, this other person is Amber fucking Heard, who's you know been a cunt to Johnny Depp for the past like five, ten years or longer. I don't know, but uh, they're going to court again. They're 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 there's another lawsuit or something between the two. I'm guessing for more emotional damage for uh, what's his name, um, Mr. Depp, Johnny Depp. You know, I gotta say, like, I watched Alice in Wonderland the other day, the live action one, because I knew he was in that movie as the Mad Hatter, and I couldn't remember where. And I, I must have watched it when I, it was on TV like a, a while ago. And he fucking makes that movie, like that movie. Like I didn't really give a shit about. It was like, okay, yeah, it's a kid story, you know, it's Alice in Wonderland. Like, but some Disney movies are good. National Treasure was fucking fire, in my opinion, when it came out. Yeah, it was fake, and none of the shit mattered, and it was all dumb as hell. But it was a fun adventure. I don't know. Uh, what's his name? Um, Johnny Depp. In that movie, he made that movie, Alice in Wonderland. That movie is not watchable unless he's the Mad Hatter. And apparently there's a second one. I didn't even fucking know that. But um, He's one of the best actors of all time, I think. Like, for me, it's like Leonardo DiCaprio's up there. Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr.'s up there. Uh, Samuel Jackson is actually up there for me. I think he might be like... Like, I've seen him play some pretty intensely different roles. Like, everyone says Morgan Freeman's a phenomenal actor, and he is, but it's kind of the same role. Same thing with Denzel Washington. I think Denzel Washington is a great actor. Well, no, he's actually a little better, in my opinion. He's, he's, okay, he might be a little better than Samuel Jackson. Even fucking Will Smith, I think, isn't a fucking amazing actor. People say Will Smith isn't that good either, but he's fucking, I don't know, he's up there for me. Regardless, um... Johnny Depp, I, I really think he's number one or two for me. Every movie I've seen him in, I have never seen him give a performance or even a line where I was like, well, this is iffy, you know? Uh, his, like, young roles in movies, I mean, you know, as a teenager and shit and as a kid, like, they get put in strange roles. I'd say the same thing for Leonardo DiCaprio. I think his younger roles were not that good. Tom Hanks, but the older they got, they got some really fucking good movies. Um... And for someone like Amber Heard to come and just, like, abuse both physically and mentally, and, like, she's still getting fucking movies and roles? Like, all the time? Like, is she's an Aquaman 2 or whatever? Like, why the fuck isn't she on blast? Fuck you, Amber Heard, you fucking bitch. That was aggressive. I don't know you, and you don't know me, and there could be a whole other shit, but just from looking at it on the outside, it looks bad, you know? I, I don't know. It looks really bad. And who the fuck am I? I'm just a fucking random kid complaining on a podcast that gets one view. Regardless, you, everything I'm seeing makes you a piece of shit, you know? Uh, unless someone can come out with proof saying the opposite. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. You're a piece of shit in my book. I don't like you. Um, so between her and Jada Pinkett Smith, that's like a, a hell. That's a place you never, ever want to be. You never want to find yourself laying there with those two women. And it sucks because they're not like unattractive women, you know, they're attractive. Um, 
It wasn't Amber Heard. Isn't she the girlfriend in fucking Pineapple Express? Isn't she Seth Rogen's girlfriend? I thought. I, I don't remember. I feel like she is. So she seemed, you know, she's not a bad actress. Uh, and Jada Pickett Smith. And I heard she was in the Matrix. I don't remember her in the fucking Matrix. I don't. She's a bitch to me. I don't care about her at all. I gotta stop using bitch so aggressively. I'm not meaning it like that because obviously I don't know them. I would never say it to them. They just have bitchy tendency tendencies. <laughs> bitch, bitch tendencies. I have bitch tendencies. Here, I put myself in the same bucket. We all have, have bitch tendencies, but they've they've had a lot of outward going bitch tendencies. So much for not cursing in the first fucking minute or five minutes. <laughs> Speaking of horrible, dumb, stupid fucking people. Uh, I've been promoting YouTube shorts recently. Someone who's some people have been following the YouTube channel uh, for the podcast. You might have been seen. It's basically the shit, the clips that I post on my Instagram at brute followed by three underscores. It's just brute underscore, underscore, underscore. Uh, it, I, I mean, so I'm posting highlights and clips of episodes where we're saying obviously fucked up shit. Uh, and shit that you're going to like look at and be like, whoa, that's aggressive. Why would they say that? But when you listen to the show, this is our bit, you know, where we're satire comedy, but we take very real points at stuff. We're passionate about shit. You know, we talk about music and movies and other shit, but, um, again, all the shorts start dropping. And because these kids don't know what the podcast is, they're dropping comments. Like I encourage people to look at the most recent YouTube short, it's a uh, everybody needs a shower YouTube short. It's when Dickie's fucking talking about how he splashes the homeless people in Manchester when he drives past them in the fucking things. But it it happens, and he just said it like, "Oh, I love doing it," like jokingly. But I mean, obviously, he's sick in the head, so he thought that would be a hilarious joke. And you know, he's not sitting there like t like rubbing his hands together, waiting for fucking homeless people to to be next to a puddle and then floors past it. Like I don't know how dumb people can be, but again. This is cancel culture. This is everything. You take context. That 15 second clip had no context. It just showed the horrible thing. And without knowing any more, except for hearing me laugh and Splitch being like, what the fuck did you just say? It sounds horrible. I remember commenting that type of shit when I was like fucking, oh, let's see, when I was 10 years old, the Xbox came out. So... Maybe I was 9 or 11. I don't know. It was sometime between 9 and 11. Nah. Like people's heads are falling out. Okay. Uh, sometime between that age. And um, I, I remember that I got so angry at some kid. And this was when YouTube first came out that he was talking shit about a school I was going to. That I, I, I typed and commented on there. A little like fucking like, I, again, I don't know. I was 12. I don't know. In the age range. But it was preteen basically. And I was like, I'll come find you. I know people. I'll fuck you up. You're going to die <laughs> saying all crazy wild shit, which I don't know where that comes from with young boys because young dudes, young kids do that all the fucking time. Like Xbox game chats, like that was really a thing. And uh, again, while I feel like the shit online was predominantly white kids who just have never gotten out of their suburban neighborhoods, obviously that isn't the case all the time. I would say that shit to kids at school when I was young <laughs> on like Facebook and MySpace and then show up to school and like back it up. These kids don't do that shit. Uh, it's, it's a different story and they know that they're behind that, that wall, the uh, keyboard warriors, you know, you know, good old warriors of the keyboard var variety. Uh, they're B on the keyboard has grease stains on it because of how many times they've typed my name and they fucking hate me. Pretty sure that was a bar. Someone said that once in like a battle. I don't know where it was, but that was fire. But yeah, uh, a lot more YouTube shorts coming. I'm going because now that I realize that that video got like some shocking traction, I'm going to post more. Some of them probably won't be as aggressive like that one because it does sound aggressive when you're just, when you don't know any of us, it sounds like, okay. Uh, the one I put up before that was the craziest things that we smoked out of. And I said a light bulb and fucking Tosta and uh, Split were just laughing their ass off. Um, that one got, you know, a couple thousand views too, but I'm hoping the YouTube shorts is what brings some shit to this pod. You feel me? 
getting some fans in here. You heard? You heard? Yurt. I have a a weird question because I was on music shit this morning. And I mean, you know, I had a music intro, the piano. I kind of want to do shit like that more, but maybe on special occasions or just right in the beginning of episodes, you'd never know. Um, yeah, sometimes Splitch will be doing some. Maybe I'll be doing some or he'll be singing and I'll be, you know, we'll, maybe we'll come up with our own intro for the pod. Ooh, you never know. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Drop a comment. Tell us, like us, or fucking send us a message. Shit. 603 Um. Where was I going with that? Music shit. So, I was thinking about it, and like, and I think there's an answer to this, but I want, I like to speculate wildly with no, uh, with no background knowledge of it. At least not no background, but little background knowledge. So, in music, in, in making music and selling music, when you create an instrumental and you mix it to the highest capacity, like a beat for a song or an R&B or a hip-hop beat, you know, when you put that that production together, uh, the vocals, everything, when you lay everything down, mix it to the highest capacity, that file that's ready to be sent to commercial use is called masters. You're, that, that's when people are always like, oh, they're selling their masters for a song. That's what they're selling the rights. They own, they copyright everything they just created. So if they sell that to someone, they're selling their rights to someone that someone else can potentially profit off of it, et cetera, et cetera. I won't get too deep down that wormhole. What I'm questioning is why is it called masters? And is there a racially deep rooted thing in it? I don't know why I had to bring up race, but I did. And I'm not trying to get it on a serious note, but like, why is it called masters you know um you'd think that if you were selling your copyrighted content your song anything that you complete as a whole i would just say like my project like when you sell the rights to your projects and then other people can make money off your projects it makes sense you know the project en encompasses what everything i just said was into one word you could say that with multiple things a compilation I'm selling the rice to my compilations. I just feel like there's other ways they could have done this besides here's the masters to your music. It just sounds like that was all old white delegates like, oh, well, what do you call something that owns the rights to everything? You call it the masters? That sounds really fucked up, you know? That's, that's where my fucking sick ass head went to. And I could be wrong again. But then I went into this, I kind of had this like high thought afterwards and I was like, okay, well... If that's the case, why is it called a master bedroom? You know? Like, is why is the largest bedroom in a house called the master bedroom? Now, there is the other version of master where it's not racial, obviously. It's like you're championing something, or you're the champion at something. You're the best you could possibly be talent-wise, so you're a master at it. It's like your skill set can be you're an, you're an artisan, you're an artisan, you're artisan. Uh, you're you're an exquisite. You are an apprentice, a novice, but in this case, you're a master. You know. Um, so maybe that's what it means. Like the most, the most. Even with music, you're selling your your skills. Maybe that's what masters came from. Who knows? But I I went to the sick part. part but for bedrooms and houses, why is it a master bedroom? You know, I would almost think like, and I, again, this is easily Googleable, but what's the fun in that? Let's speculate wildly. I would think the master bedroom is the one who makes the most, the money for the household, the bread maker, the breadwinner, the, I'm sure there's more terms of that that I'm not saying or saying improperly, but what, um, what like, I don't know. I'd be curious to figure out if there's an actual story behind that one. That one maybe I will look up. No, I won't. But I, I just thought it could have been a little weird because like we can probably change the names of those things by now. Uh, I've talked about this before, but like food, like when you say like, okay, well, I'm out at like a meeting with a bunch of executives at work and I'm like, hey, do you guys want to go get Chinese food? Well, the Chinese guy in the meeting doesn't say, hey, that's offensive to me. Or, hey, do you want to get Mexican food? The Mexican guy doesn't say that. But if we're going to get, you know, barbecue, and I say, hey, let's go get some white food, I feel like everyone's going to look at me weird. 
I don't know. If you're sitting in a room with with a black guy, an Indian man, uh, a Hispanic man, and you're like, you guys want to go get some white food? You tell me all of them would just look at you like, like, what? What did you just say to me? Or they might, you know, understand completely. I don't know. That's another thing. But like, why? I guess there's, is there just no better name for it? We We don't have anything better than Mexican food or... I mean, I guess we could say Hispanic food, right? Or you could say like... I was saying, I don't want to say black food. <laughs> you can't say that with black people. <laughs> what would be black food, though? I don't know. I mean, I guess I know like some some like uh, Haitians, you know, Jamaican. Like they they make some good food that I guess is more specific to them. But I don't really know. Like, okay, so like I was at an Italian festival, and uh, this was years ago, and and they said that they're selling. African chicken is how the, they were describing it to us. And these were like some Dominican and Puerto Rican dudes. And they said like, that's how they were described to them. So that's how they describe it to us. And it was jerk chicken, which to my mis- understanding is, is Jamaican based. So is that, can you say that's black food? Do you want to go get black food because we're going to get jerk chicken or <laughs> that sounds so bad, but we do it with everything else. Mexican food, Chinese food. Korean food, even you can say Korean. Italian food. Italian is just a form of white, I guess. But you can't you can't say black food or just white food. It just sounds off to me. Maybe I'm overthinking it like a motherfucker. I don't know. Speaking of food, mom, I'm on my segue game today. I don't know if that's true or a word. I take a break from my Mountain Dew. We are not sponsored by Mountain Dew. Um, what was I talking about? Mexican food, black food, white food. Oh, food. Yeah. So I met a vegan. That sounded, that was a bad start. Hold on. So I met, uh, so when people like in like movies and shows, they exaggerate vegan attitudes and tendencies. And what I mean by that is like, they seem snotty, I guess. Snub. They seem condescending. They don't. They they talk down to people for pretty extremely pathetic reasons, I, I would say. But from what I noticed, uh, it was all exaggerated. And I'm sorry, I'm thinking about this so much. I'm just thinking about different scenarios in my head. Um. So I met this. I'm friends with a few vegans, vegetarians, piscatarians, uh, other things as well. You know, they're all normal people. They're just regular fucking everyday citizens. Well, I was at Shaw's the other day, and uh, I met vegan mother who was on the heftier side. She was a little chubby chubby, if you know what I'm saying. She was uh, she was plump she was uh robust to say the least <laughs> Ooh. no but she's like honestly like an inch shorter than me and i'm only like five seven five eight in shoes or is it five eight five nine who fucking knows she was shorter than me by at least an inch and she you know was i'd say over 200 kind of easily if i'm being honest uh i don't know i'd say like she was and I don't want to use Splitch as a reference, but since he's not here, I think it's uh, uh, it's applicable. She was like, add 40 or so pounds, 30 or 40 or so pounds to, to Splitch. And uh, that's what you got. And she was vegan. And how do I know this, you ask? Well, because she, was, she had her, her son, I think it was her son that was with her, who looked very similar to her. I will not shit on the children because it is never the children's fault. It is always the parent and or guardian. And the uh, child, you know, yeah, robust, dirty, stinky, even. Both of them were. <laughs> it was bad. I was walking around several parts that they happened to be at in the, in the grocery store, including the checkout line. Well, my point is, Every single chance the mother got, she was saying out loud, no, we don't eat this type of stuff because we're vegan. 
So he would pick up burger or a sausage or something or some meat and, and stuff like that. And he'd just be like, oh, mommy. Because, you know, he was like eight or seven. Like, you know, he's a kid still. No, not up there, but not down there either. And um, I think fully there. <laughs> uh, regardless. Uh, you know, here's meat, you know, sausage and fucking bacon and shit. And she's like, no, no, we don't eat that. We only eat, she's like, we're vegans. Remember, we can only eat non-dairy, non-meat, non this, this, and this. And she just kept bringing it up. And then one point when we're in line, she starts shitting on other people, but not shitting on other people. And you know, those fucking people when you're out in public, right? And they're like, they say something loud enough so they know everyone else can hear them. So they're just like, oh, yeah, you know, we're buying, uh, you know, just all these veggies and everything, you know, not meat like the other, like the other ignorant people in line. And we're all, and these other, you know, not to mention this woman's three times the size of us. And we're all just fucking sitting there looking at each other like this fucking late. Who the fuck is this bitch? And, you know, and, and no one said anything, but she started doing that often. She said it like four or five times in the line. We're like, hell yeah, just good thing that we, we're not spending much because we're not getting meat. Like, good thing we're paying attention to our health. Good thing we're doing this and just, we're smart enough to do this. Like she kept saying it like that where it was just shitting on other people. And this fucking dude who was behind me in the line just turns around and goes, miss, can you say it quieter or just shut up about it? Shit you not. Just told her to shut up right in front of her kid. She fucking screamed. She started wailing. And honestly, I just tuned out at that point because like, I know, I know she was looking for that and she probably wants to get something out of it. Groceries, who knows? Maybe she thinks the guy will hit her and she'll get a settlement. Who fucking knows? I don't know. Maybe she just wanted to rise. Some people just like drama. Well, she felt like that type of a fucking person because... Again, like I was at this point, I'm start. They're starting to scan my stuff in through the line, you know. Boop, boop, boop. Man, this and who the fuck are you to say this to me? And I just, I again tuned out. I'm not even listening at this point. The guy's screaming at her. She's screaming at the guy. The other people in line are like, "Hey, you guys got to calm down. It's not that big of a deal." And I'm just kind of sitting there, a smile on my face, seeing that uh, scan through, you know, get my shit, and then I leave. But I've never met. met a vegan who pushed it in other people's faces like that. And I mean, at this point, obviously judging from the story, she might not have actually been, <laughs> I mean, no, she very well could have been, I don't know. Maybe it was a recent choice. I don't know. Uh, she just didn't seem like her or her child or whoever that child was. Doesn't seem like it was in their lifestyle or repertoire. Their palate was definitely a uh, junk food based. And again, I'm not I'm not shitting on them. He's just, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Try to be cool about it. Okay. All right. Well, on to the next one. On to the next one. All right. So, uh we have to talk about it a little bit, I guess, because uh Mr. Willis, Mr. Bruce Willis, Willis of the Bruce variety. What'd you talk about, Bruce? What'd you talk about? Is it Willis? Why do I think it's not Willis now? What'd you, what'd you talk about? Wh Wilson? What the fuck is it? What'd you talk about, Willis? I don't know now. Um, Bruce Willis has aphasia, aphasia, I don't know how to pronounce it, aphasia, whereas like essentially it's like dementia, but for words. <laughs> Why did I laugh at that? Uh, yeah, it's a, it's just, I don't know, not being able to remember. I shouldn't even say remember. It's like you, you want to respond and you're saying something as I'm saying something right now, but you don't get the words out. So instead of me saying aphasia, I'm just looking and I'm like, m m m word gone. And that's it. That's all that comes out. Your your brain's giving you the signal, but it will not... There's a part of your brain that's just not comprehending it correctly. Now, I have a few takes on this, I guess. And I'm going to be joking with it, okay? Of course. Because I have to say that now, or else the YouTube shorts will have death threats. So, wasn't he already kind of... <laughs> 
he was already like kind of there, right? <laughs> like, <sighs> you don't go to a Bruce Willis movie and expect this in- impeccably undeniable monologue of of exquisite words. It's not Shakespearean of any of any style. You're not going there thinking you're gonna. You're not gonna. You don't go into a Bruce Willis movie expecting The Godfather. You're not expecting Michael Corleone. The story, just everything put into The Godfather. I know that's a, a, a kind of extreme example, but like a Martin Scorsese film, that's better, right? They, they, he pays attention to dialogue very well, and th- I've just never seen a Bruce Willis movie that's like, oh fuck that like shut shit down for me. Like, holy fuck, that speech he just gave was incredible. Now I will say in movies like Armageddon and shit like that, yes, he had a lot of talking roles, but it's never out of his range. It's always going to be the Southern Midwestern or Western white dude that's supposed to be a badass. I don't know. In the Die Hard movies, Still didn't do that crazy talking. They were just, just simple things, you know? So, I don't know. My my point is, like, for them to say that he has aphasia or aphasia, however you pronounce it, it must be really bad. Now, uh, we've all seen Bruce Willis, you know, kind of slow down over the years, right? Like, the last two Die Hard movies were pretty, um... I mean, they were boom and explosive and yeah, 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 yeah. But they weren't, um like the old ones used to be. They were a little more chaotic, I think, and a little better writing, I want to say. He still tried to play that badass role, but you could see him kind of declining. I watched a few movies recently. Now, in his later years, Bruce Willis, you have made some pretty shitty movies. Uh, I watched one in particular, one of the worst movies I've ever seen. I say that a lot. and you, I don't say that a lot, but... If I say that about a few movies, I like a lot of movies and a lot of shows. It doesn't take much to sway me, so it has to be pretty bad. I promise you, audience, watch American Siege. It's a 2021 movie. I think it's on Amazon Prime and Hulu right now. You can tell he has aphasia in that movie. You can literally hear it. And like, so if I'm about to say this right now, right, I'll just read what's on my screen. Bruh, applause, MLG, Airhorn, Pornhub Community, the nut button, gunshot. I know that's going to sound really weird, but those are all sound bites and sound bars. Um... Bruh. No. That's why I read it back. Um, but he, like, how he, this is how he was talking in the movie. Uh, applause, air, air horn, gunshot. It was drawn out, it was slow. And some words he was stuttering on. I did not think like, I know it sounds fucked up, but I didn't think it was going to, his lines were going to get that much worse than they currently were. He's not great at catchphrase type lines, I guess. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, he was obviously, but just in his later years and ah, they're bad. Um, Watch American Siege. It's a 2021 movie. Uh, He was in some pretty bad doozies in 2020 as well, but those movies I think were more writing as well. Like the writing was really awful in those movies. Uh, The stories weren't good. I think he just needed kind of money type of thing. I don't know. Maybe he just was addicted to it. Who knows? But this movie, American Siege, holy fuck, it's bad. I I promise if you watch that movie, put in the comments, like uh, I was shocked at how... The, 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 the off he sounded and i know that sounds like i'm just shitting on him and i'm not because he's an amazing actor you know what i mean and i don't want to say he's an amazing actor but he's the man he's he's had these badass iconic roles for years um he's played hella good roles uh and again he's like refused to say some things and changed lines i think i've heard from all other certain things but like wasn't he in pulp fiction because he was incredible in that that movie lucky number seven Great fucking movie with him in it. Um, There's some that he's in that are like gems that are like, oh shit, this was really good. And that's what you're just going to have to remember him by. (laughs) Uh, I think Armageddon in the 2000s, that's probably one of his more recent classic movies. I want to say that's like a classic movie. And then after that, 
I don't know. They, they've been getting worse and worse and shit. When you see that move, I, I promise. Just put in the comments. Let me know. 603-922-4074. Send me a text. Give us a call. Leave a voicemail. To, leave a movie review. Who fucking knows, you know? Um, it's rough. Yeah. And I hope it's not infecting. Like, I mean, again, that must be horrible for his family. I've had uh, uh, multiple grandparents um, suffer from dementia before they pass and Alzheimer's. And... It, it was some of the most tragic fucking parts of my life. It was straight depression. Uh, for them to look at you and not recognize you after you know, 10, 20 years of your life, it's heartbreaking. Um, so I can I can see like trying like – I know he's not there yet, but with words trying to do that, like people just talking to you and having conversations and you can't fucking respond. You have to do this, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down, and may, just do a lot of hand signals. Hey, maybe he could do a movie with just a lot of hand signals and shit in it. I don't know. I'm sure if it's just if it's affecting your words like that, it has to affect something else. I would imagine, uh, like comprehensive wise, like I I would think that has to be. I don't know, a bit much, I guess, uh, for lack of better terms. I I don't know. I'd say it's a bit drastic. So, okay, I don't think I have talked about this yet. Because last week we were not on. That's right. So last week we had to take off. Uh, by the way, uh, Splitch had COVID last week. That's actually why we couldn't pod. Um, and I couldn't get any replacements or any time during my work week. Uh, luckily today I found some time. But last week, or the last episode, two weeks ago, I was talking about how Marvel needs to come with some with some hot ones. You know, Marvel needs to come with some classic type shit. And they got to come with it soon. And yes, I'm sorry for the listeners that get sick and tired of this, but the next five or so minutes are going to be about Moon Knight. I watched episodes one and two so far, because I think that's the only thing out. I think episode three will drop when this episode comes out, actually. So, hey, hopefully we'll recap that next week uh, if Ruben watches it. I mean, if he doesn't, he probably won't, knowing him. Um... Yeah, I, I, don't, I mean, I kind of take back everything I said <laughs> in the last episode. I, I was not confident that Marvel would be able to build like a new Avengers or a new 22 to 25 story build up, like movie build up, especially with new villains as well as they did with the first movies, you know? Because um, in the first movies, like they, they damn near they put the infinity stones in the first iron man in the first, like that, that was the Tesseract. And then the first, uh, what is it called? Captain America in the first, well, I guess Hulk didn't have it. Cause that was Edward Norton's Hulk, but they introduced infinity stones in the very first movie, you know? So they planned that 22 movie thing out. Probably not as much as that was like, they probably took a little longer than they wanted, but you know, 10 or 11 years and they, and they got it out. Eternals doesn't have something like that, at least not that I've seen yet. Um, I think WandaVision had the closest thing, which would be Metamorphosis or something. I don't remember his name. It starts with an M, but he's pretty much like the devil of the MCU. He's like Satan. And that's who uh, uh, Scarlet Witch, Wanda, tries to find her kids in, that like nether realm or dark region realm shit. So, I mean... <laughs> He could be a, a major villain. He could be a massive villain. And then Kang from Loki, Kang the Conqueror, is also a major massive villain. But there's no movies with it yet. Do you know what I mean? Now, I really hope Doctor Strange 2 does this. With all that being said, Moon Knight is fucking amazing. That is such a good show. It's hard to say what it's going up against in the first two episodes, but honestly, I already like it better than Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I already like it better than Hawkeye. Guess WandaVision's still up there for me. Um, I'm forgetting what the other one is. And Loki, yeah, is still up there for me. I think Loki, I mean, I like even more than WandaVision. But yeah, man, Moon Knight, this is on its way. That first episode alone, there was so much in it. And it's compelling. That's the key fucking thing. Like with the Hawkeye show. Sorry. With the Hawkeye show, um, we just love the character. So 
and it was kind of family friendly ish to a degree. So we know like, and, and we know it was tying up Ronan from the show. Moon Knight is different. It introduces new shit. It's a whole different energy, to be honest. It's compelling. It is fucking gripping. Um, whoever the director of that is, and I fucking forgot his name. I wrote it down and I forgot it. He's amazing. He needs to do so much more Marvel shit. I hope movies. Same thing with uh, Marvel uh, uh, Multiverse of Madness, um, Doctor Strange 2. That movie is going to be fucking wild. And Waikiki Taitu, is that his name? I don't know. I think he's the one who directed Black Panther, but there's like a horror director, I think, was also on this, or producer maybe. I don't know. But I'm, I'm told that Doctor Strange 2 is shot differently. Uh, still haven't seen the Batman. I think we're good on Marvel shit for now. Again, those other shows, they don't, they don't look exciting to me. Like, I don't want to watch Miss Marvel strictly because they changed the power and it's just another Captain Marvel character. Like, ugh, we get it. Like, I don't know. I, I'll probably give it a try, knowing me, because I'm obsessed with Marvel shit. But yeah, that's it for the Marvel tangent. I won't go on too much longer. Uh, I'm just saying that Oscar Isaac, who's the main character for um, Moon Knight, whew, incredible. He plays a British and English... No, he plays a, an Englishman and an American, and yeah, they like worship Egyptian gods. Like it is, it's badass. You, you, it's in Cairo. Or Cairo. Uh, I think the third episode takes place in Cairo too. So yeah, you, we gotta, you gotta fucking gotta watch Moon Knight. That's that's my Marvel recommendation for the week. Um, ooh, I don't know if I could talk about that part. Um, okay, well, I want to say, what are the worst gaming consoles? We got to rank them, right? So, like, there's a lot of gaming consoles. What are the worst? Okay, I will say, like, if arcades count, I'm going to say an arcade because of how limited it was. And I'm not a part of the generation where... Like, when I was growing up, the Super Nintendo was out, the Nintendo 64, Dreamcast, uh, the Game Boy Advance and Game Boys, the little handhelds, like, those were fucking changing my childhood already, so, I mean, I did go to arcades a lot, but that would be my minimum. If I can't do those, God, the Game Boys were so fucking, so crazy, but I'm gonna say, like, for today's platforms, right, the Xbox, PlayStation, Wii, Nintendo Switch, all those, right? Or PC, obviously. I'm going to say the worst gaming console is the Wii. And um, I'm very curious to hear. I want to hear what other people's takes are on this. So leave in the comments or call 603-922-4074 or email brutalview at gmail.com and let us know about the worst gaming consoles. I'm going number one is the Wii. It's great for a family console, right? It's really fun games. I think you could play up to four players like any fucking Nintendo game. And um, again, this, it's more, for me, the Wii's more interactive and it's more active and interactive, you know? I, I think it's more out there. I don't know if that should be considered amongst the gaming consoles. Um, after that, I'm going to have to go PlayStation, and I know that's going to get a lot of hate, but yeah, maybe I do have to include all the old games too, all the old consoles. Because like, yeah. All right, all right, I'm going to include all consoles, because again, there's only PlayStation, Xbox, Wii, and PC. That's it, right? VR gaming, I guess. Yeah, I'm an Xbox dude, even though I've had all systems and platforms, but I've always just stuck with the Xbox. Uh, again, probably just for the games. Fucking love Halo, and I love Gears. I've always loved those games, so... Except the new Gears. New Gears of War are horrible. Gears of War 5 was ass. Gears of War 4 was ass. They completely ruined those storylines and made them all child-friendly to the new fucking era. Stupid fucking shit. But yeah, um... I will say, like, okay, so the, like, Dreamcast, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, all those fucking games. GameCube. All right, I think for me, the Dreamcast might be the worst gaming console 
And that's strictly because I had more fun and did more shit on the Nintendo 64, and it was out at the same time, on the Super Nintendo. I think GameCube might be a little newer than that, but I still even think GameCube was better. The Nintendo DS, you know? I think most Nintendo games, Nintendo Switch... Nintendo Switch is up there too, but I still think Nintendo Switch is probably, that's up by Wii with me, you know? I, I'm still holding Xbox and PC are the highest. And I gotta say, even for me, PC is actually over Xbox. I think PC is number one, Xbox, then the rest. Then for me, honestly, it's probably Nintendo 64 is number three. I know it's crazy because like the Nintendo Switch, the Wii, but I don't own those currently. And... uh <laughs> I don't know, it's not fair if I don't own it. <laughs> I need to be able to use those. I guess, should I say, like, if I owned everything? I don't know, you know, I haven't gone back to games as much as I've gone back to the Nintendo 64. Like, every couple of years, I'll replay Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'll replay Super Smash Bros., Paper Mario. I'll replay these games. And I've beaten them 10, 20 times, you know? Pokemon Diamond, Pokemon Stadium, whatever the fuck it was called. I, I fucking love those games. Uh, 007, like, Nintendo 64 really is one of the best consoles of all time to me. So yeah, I'm sticking with it. PC, Xbox, Nintendo 64. I, I will go PlayStation after that. Whew. Maybe the Nintendo DS after that, over the Nintendo Switch and shit, because I think the Nintendo Switch pretty much just is an enhanced Nintendo DS, so I guess that those are interchangeable for me, but the Nintendo DS was like, man, I played so many fucking games on that, and it was a little bit before a lot more handheld shit came out. Like, I, the Nintendo 3DS, I used to play fucking the Final Fantasy games on that, oh my god. That brings back fucking memories. The, the Super Marios and the Paper Mario, or not Paper Mario, but like the Mario we actually played level 1 to 99, those fucking Marios, like those were fucking impeccable games and an impeccable system. <laughs> I feel like there used to be some fucking pet shit too, the G Gigi, Gigi Pet, Gigi Pet, whatever the fuck those were. I feel like those things were pretty fucking fun too. But I also played those on Nintendo DS. I played some version of that. You could like plug it in and then play it. Am I thinking of that correctly? I don't even remember now. I, I hope so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was it. Um, after that, honestly, Super Nintendo was revolutionary for me because it was kind of before I had a Nintendo 64. Um, or I think like when we did try to get both, like me and my brother would always fight over it or one of my cousins would have one and then another cousin would have the other one. So we'd always go there just to play those systems. Um, yeah, man, those games had so much shit on them. And they were like really like, those were like arcade games put into a joystick. I think that's when that really like amped up the, the arcade to uh, analog controller for me was one of those. Um, and I don't even know if it was analog, but it was at least like, buttons and shit so yeah super nintendo might be after the nintendo switch slash ds for me oh god i i want to say gamecube i think i'm forgetting a few of them a few systems that were really fucking crazy but i'm gonna go gamecube next and then maybe the dreamcast I think there was another one that I can't think that was probably below the Dreamcast because it was just like dead, but I think like Game Boy Advances, those could probably go below Dreamcast again, but I, I honestly played those more than Dreamcast. For me, a Game Boy and a Game Boy Advance was above a fucking Dreamcast. That shit changed mad shit for me. I don't know. Maybe that's, that's the only way I can think of it in my head. I don't know other, uh, I don't know. All right, I'm getting off the uh, gaming shit. Um, I don't have any more updates on on, on Skeet Davidson or 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 Bombay vest, but uh, I've been I've read that I don't know if this is true. 
So I've, I've been reading an argument on Twitter. I've read these a lot, and they and this is what it boiled down to. It said Skeet Davidson shouldn't be allowed to see Kanye's kids. Like, he shouldn't be allowed to interact with them or act as a guardian and or father figure, period. Now, I I just don't, I don't, I couldn't agree with that. And I don't know if maybe I'm not looking at it differently. I don't have kids, for one. I don't fucking, you know, I don't I don't know a lot of... I don't know the backstory of that. I've, I've barely been fucking following it. But why wouldn't he just be able to be, like, nice to them? You know? Like, oh, fucking Kim is probably never fucking sees her kids. Everyone knows I don't like Kim. And uh, they probably are just with, like butlers and fucking agents all day so why if i was fucking pete davidson i'd take them out fucking places too yeah you want to go fucking mini golfing or i think that's what i saw they were like mini golfing or something and people were like ripping him in half like that's fucked up he's seeing the kids and everything it's like why wouldn't you just want him to be friendly like obviously the kids i mean they are they're not old enough to they're old enough to know that pete davidson is not one is not their father, and two is not going to like replace as a a permanent father figure. And even though that might be Pete's intention, I just don't think like like I think he's always going to be that like kind of fun older brother or uncle that like he'll watch over them, but he's not like gonna like guide them parenting wise. You know, he's not gonna fucking hold their hands through everything. He's not gonna teach them and help them with homework. Or no, he might. I don't know. I don't fucking know, but. I don't, I don't agree that that shit is, like, fucking frowned upon. I don't agree that that was, like, some drastically fucked up thing. I don't know. I, I don't think it's that bad. But All right, for the uh, remaining 10 minutes, I am going to go on some IG videos. So for listeners, if you do tune out, I will not be offended. Please share and everything. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of what Jake uh, or Dickie has sent me recently, so... I want to look at some recent shit. Let's see. We'll go up pretty far in my IG vids. All right, so listeners that do hang around, I will describe what I'm seeing. Um, but again, I just want to uh, get some some shit out here. So, it means a lot to, to me, and it means a lot to uh, all of us. But Grandma's not here tonight. So it's important that we remember Grandma. She was a big part of our family. It's the first year she hasn't been with us, so I just want you to know how important it is. Are to you fucking here together tonight? <laughs> uh, it means a lot to, to me, and it means a lot to uh, all of us. But Grandma's not here tonight. So it's important that we remember Grandma. She was a big part of our family. It's the first year she hasn't been with us, so I just want you to know how important it is. Are to you fucking here together tonight? <laughs> okay, so I didn't know what was happening at first. <laughs> <laughs> that's so fucked up okay you could hear someone i thought at first they were like giving grace or something because like he has like his phone down and he's like walking in and like getting like food or something it's like so he's at like a thanksgiving event or something <laughs> and they're and they're like this is the first year without grandma <laughs> so she's obviously passed at this point <laughs> and then he just rips ass like halfway through this, this speech or like giving grace or a toast or whatever this was oh my god just farting through it even with a little leg kick at the end <laughs> oh that's horrible and then yeah obviously at the end are you fucking kidding me yeah but honestly like come on like like that wouldn't give everyone a little bit of much needed laughter at that point if someone passed or they're not there anymore because of covid or some shit like i don't know i feel like that would be pretty fucking that'd be hilarious that would be a good one to uh i wouldn't be mad at that if i was the father i'd say that you know unless it was like really uh offensive and inappropriate okay so i'm looking at a cat that looks like it ate weed brownies. <laughs> and the cat's just sitting there with uh, its eyes like like fucking hammerhead shark. Like fucking, like an weren't weren't <laughs> with its mouth open. Interesting. I think if a cat ate weed brownies, it would die, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it like fucking, I feel like that thing would pop. I don't, I don't know. I feel like that, no, I don't know. 
because I feel like dogs, if you give them enough pot, whether it's like a pot cookie or something, like I think they can like stop breathing. I don't know if I read that correctly somewhere, but I feel like I read somewhere where they can literally stop breathing if uh, they get eat too much weed just because kind of similar to humans, they forget, you know, their body gets so used to it. Don't you step on the flowers. It's Layla. <laughs> Don't you step on the flowers. It's Layla. Yeah, that makes me want fucking dogs. I wish I could have dogs in my apartment. I gotta get a fucking... I gotta get a new, uh... I gotta get a new apartment soon. Or a new house so I can actually get an animal. Something entertaining. Let's see what I sent myself. I'm sure it's someone hurting themselves. Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus, whoever put that music in is foul. Oh, my God, that was a, a hefty, uh, a hefty hit. So for one, like, OK. I did not expect the. Uh, well, I know this is going to sound mean, but I didn't expect the the wire to actually remain intact i thought it was gonna snap and uh not necessarily because of her size i mean yes that had a lot to do with it but it just doesn't look like when you see a wire in a backyard just on a tree that like some random dude put in and there's like a, <laughs> you know there's like a swing in something you can like hold on to to swing across like someone just put this together you know it wasn't professionally made i already think that it was poorly done uh one usually the shit will fly out of the trees. It's not in the tree sturdy enough, so it just launches out and smacks the person in the back of the head. Then they're dead for the rest of their life. Or two, the holster, the thing that they grab onto, just snaps. It just breaks off. None of those happened. Not to mention she is, uh, you know, she's a thicky, thicky, thicky. But uh, she gained some speed. And by the end of this little swing, this little ro holster rope swing thing they made, this little zip line type thing, yeah, she, I guess, just couldn't, she couldn't hang on to it because of the momentum when it stopped. So it stopped so aggressively that she literally, she just flipped. <laughs> she just kept going backwards. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, uh, yeah. I kind of feel bad now. When I first started describing it, I thought I was just being politically correct. Now I feel dumb. Punter did this. Oh, I remember this crazy fucking play. Fucking wild. So, I mean, again, this is someone who... <clears throat> I had to mute the music because it was Eminem, but a punter was given... was uh, So someone punted the ball, and it went all the way into the end zone of the opposite team. And the opposite team was the punter for the, the receiving team, right? He went from end zone to fucking end zone. Dodging people, spinning around. Honestly, his team was great defense. They, they did a good job. The dude, yeah, I just saw that. At the 40-yard line, got trampled. But, man, you're a punter on a football team, and then you, you catch the ball at end zone and then go from end zone to end zone? Like, yeah, you're on the wrong position, bro. You, you got to be a running back, wide receiver, any type of offensive play-getting, play-catching line. <laughs> dude got to take it out. Uh, yeah, classic fucking play. I remember seeing that like five or ten years ago. That, that That's an old fucking video, but so crazy. Um, God, I wish I could play fucking sports. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I can play sports, but after I turned like 16, stopped everything, and then uh, ended up, uh, you know, smoking too much, and... Uh, and off, and there he goes. Made a little cutback move, and it looks like he's gonna go all the way. <laughs> Look at him go. Wow. This is really one of those heartwarming moments in sports where you just... Oh! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> that was just... That is not good. 
traffic. All right, I gotta leave the volume on again because I don't know if this is uh, real or not. But what it looks like is that two teams are playing. Ooh, this might be high school, might be younger, and a kid was given the ball. A kid on one of the teams. <laughs> I don't know if he has a disease or something, but <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, that kid definitely had something wrong with him, and I'm, I don't mean to say it like that, I mean, because, like, why would everyone be letting this kid run by, you know, they're like, oh, we're just doing it for fun, we're doing it to be nice, or to give the kid a, a score, like, I don't know, everyone on the opposite team sees that this little kid is being given the ball, so they're not really trying as hard as they normally would, you know, and some of them are even rooting him on, and the kid's getting wicked excited, <laughs> And then when he's within the 20 yard line, <laughs> someone on the opposite team just lays the kid out <laughs> and he just doesn't move afterwards. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? Oh, I hope, I don't know if this is real or not either. This could be fake. Um, I hope the kid's okay. I don't know. This is fucking, <laughs> that's so dark. Okay. On that note, I think I'm going to sign off. Uh, we're just, teetering up on an hour here um again when split is back because we have been off for a few weeks now i do apologize we're adults we have very tight rough schedules i mean we're two fucking kids in our 20 we're 26 you know i we both got nine to fives and we both got other shit besides the podcast so we're gonna miss some weeks I i'm sorry again uh if you're a fan i truly appreciate you listening please tune back in we will we will uh we will be back as much as we can on a Wednesday basis. Wednesday mornings, 5 a.m. for the listeners, probably 6 to 12, 6 a.m. to 12 noon for the YouTube watchers. Tell your friends about us. I have and always will be brute. I really hope you enjoyed it. Solo podcast can be a little tough, so uh, if, if this went on or if I dragged on for any reason, I apologize. Doing my best. Thanks for listening. 603-922-4074. Email brutoview at gmail.com. Again, I am Brute, B-R-O-O-T, and we will be back next week. Stay sexy.